Здравствуйте, друзья! Мы у нас тут на даче вечерком, можно сказать, уже часов 10 вечера, если не больше. Мы э, спрашиваем Винни э, вопросы, которые ребята ему задали. Мы отобрали 14 вопросов. И... Нет, смешно. И... А не смешно, мы просто отдыхаем такие. Да. So, Винни, question number one. Literally, it sounds as uh, how to tolerate neighbors who are behaving badly. Go over there and tell them to be quiet. What if they don't? What if they don't? Yeah. Are well, you punching them in the face? No, just tell them that, uh, please, you're making a lots of noise. You shouldn't be doing this at 12 o'clock at night. It's not good. Uh, did it happen to you before? Yes. So, uh, how, what, what would be their normal reaction? Their normal reaction would be, 90% of the time, they'll, they'll calm it down. Because uh -huh. they know the next step, the cops will be there. Uh -huh. So you would not call the cops first? First, no. I go over there and tell them. Okay. Okay. Uh, which countries did you visit in your life? And uh, uh, which one, which countries did, did you like more? More? Okay. Uh -huh. Let's say see. first what countries you been. Yeah, I'm going to say that. Okay, the first countries I've been, uh, let's say I've been to Australia. Uh -huh. I've been to Italy. Yes. I've been to France. I've been to England mm -hmm. and let's see, Mexico. Canada. Mm -hmm. If you want to say that. Okay. So, yeah. um, mm -hmm. any country which you liked better, the best? The best. I, I loved Italy. Italy was my favorite. You speak it, Italian or? Uh, Italian? No, I don't. My my father used to speak it. He was from. Uh -huh. uh, his his father was from Italy. Okay. Um, so the brightest thing. Uh, you can remember from your childhood? The brightest thing of my childhood? Mm -hmm. Let's see, that's a, that's a tricky one. <laughs> uh, or the most memorable? Anything? Memorable? Probably when I, first, when I first got my dog. I had a little dog uh -huh. and he was... Uh, when I moved it to um, upstate New York, I had no friends because it was like uh, a very new um, I would say, uh, area. With what no, kind of dog? Uh, he was a he was a mutt. What? <laughs> yeah, he was a mutt. You know. Nice mutt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, he was my only friend because there was nobody living, mm -hmm. you know, in the in that area. Yet we were the only ones that uh, had the house built. It's the first house built on the development. Mm -hmm. So I had no friends. And my dad got me this dog, and he was like my best friend. It was awesome. Okay, so where would you normally go for a vacation? Vacation? Mm -hmm. Well, we do a lot of vacations in Florida, uh, but I would love to go. Mm -hmm. I would like to go back to Italy. Okay, that's one of the places. Not Hawaii, go. not Canada, not uh, no. God knows. No, I, lo I love it. Virginia Islands. Okay. Yeah. Um, what what do you like and what you do not like in the uh, United States? What do I like? I like that we have uh, the freedoms that we have. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a lot of freedoms. We could do most of anything, be what we want to be. Mm -hmm. I mean, we have... This country gives you such an awesome chance to take advantage, if you take advantage of it, which unfortunately most Americans don't do, uh, to to be your own boss, mm -hmm. to make as much money as you want. Uh, that's one of the things I like about the country. What I don't like about the country, which has been happening a lot in the last, I'd say, 10, 15 years, is the politics. Mm -hmm. uh, what about medicine? Uh, and, well, that's part of the politics now, mm -hmm. which is this medicine uh, with, the, with Obamacare mm -hmm. and the how and the, and nobody not getting along in, in that White House. There's so many good ideas that regular American people vote for mm -hmm. that do, don't get passed because these people are too busy fighting with each other. Mm -hmm. Everybody's fighting, nothing gets passed, nothing gets done. And it's really irritating, especially with, uh, especially with your, your, this country's not going anywhere anymore. That's all I feel about okay, it. Okay, provocative question. Um, mm -hmm. If, just imagine, Natalia decides to move back to Russia. Would you go with her? Of course. 
She's not getting away from me that easy. <laughs> so you would live with me in Russia if I would move to Russia? That's right. That's awesome. Okay. Um, I like to hear that. <laughs> uh, as, a, as an American um, guy, um, how would you compare California versus Florida? Well, California, I love the, uh, the weather in California. Been here. Water. Yeah, I like the water. The water is fantastic. Drinking water is fantastic. Mm -hmm. I like that uh, the weather here. Uh, it's very beautiful. What I don't like about California is that you, you have to make a million dollars to live here. You got to make a million dollars a year to live here, mm -hmm. and that's re ridiculous. You're talking about Silicon Valley specifically, because let's say Sacramento is no more expensive than Florida. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, do they have earthquakes there? Like it's a Russian town. <laughs> yeah. Earthquakes, I've never heard about earthquakes in Sacramento. No? Mm. Mm. Maybe we'll move to Sacramento. It's a Russian town. Do you want to live with Russians? I'm living with Russians now. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Mm. What is your uh, favorite car and why? Well, my favorite car is, uh, is my 69 Z28 Camaro. Uh, reasons why I had that when I was growing up at the age of uh, 16 years old, uh -huh. and it's been and it's a very uh, fashionable car. Uh -huh. People when we drive around, they always wave at you. And they go, "Wow, what kind of car is that?" They love it. So, you, really so you have your dream car. Yes, I have. I have one of my dream cars. Okay, and um, so. Um, what do you think about United States uh, uh, budget deficit and uh, kind of uh, the whatever number of trillions we have, uh, you know, well, in again, ob obligations and oh, yeah. But the, again, this goes back to politics. To politics. Uh -huh. The problem that's been going on in this country for 15 years. Uh -huh. Nobody knows. Nobody wants to do anything to fix anything. Uh -huh. They're too busy fighting with each other. Okay. And the biggest problem is. When you fight over everything, people add, uh, like when a bill goes through the House of Representatives, mm -hmm. well, if it might be a very good bill, but then everybody puts all these junk uh, bills yes, on yes. top of it. And it, then when it gets passed, it costs the American people millions and millions of dollars. Yeah. Because they want to fund this, they want to fund this, yeah. and it's all junk. We call them junk bonds. Mm -hmm. They're just junk. And this is what's happening in this country. So you think it is not that much of a problem to really uh, eliminate the budget deficit. I mean, if they have the political will, it's not a big deal. Well, it is a big deal, but you know, most countries in the world run on, on, on like this. Uh -huh. they, they all have deficits. It's just that uh, it, it's not, we, our deficit is, is not getting any better. Uh -huh. Like I said, because everybody is fighting against each other. Nobody wants to cure the problems. Uh -huh. All they want to do is fight with each other. Okay. Uh, but it's not like you cannot sleep, you know, at night because of it. No, no. Look, it's like anything else. If all the other countries do the same thing, a lot of people owe a lot of money to, to China now. Because, uh -huh. let's face it, all our uh, companies moved to China. Uh -huh. And years ago, I, I don't know if you remember this, back in the 90s, when, uh, again, the politicians only thinking about their own uh, pockets, mm -hmm. a big bank, the World Banking Association, mm -hmm. you heard about the World Banking mm -hmm. Association. Mm -hmm. They actually bought out a bunch of uh, politicians mm -hmm. and then uh, they created this thing called GATT. I don't know if you heard about GATT. GATT is what uh, is our trade. Whatever, just suppose if, uh, if uh, China makes a light bulb for mm -hmm. For, uh, we make a light bulb for $2. Mm -hmm. The Japanese make it a one for 50 cents, same mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. And they want to bring it in this country. Years ago, we would tax it to where it would be worth the mm -hmm. same as the U.S. light bulb. Mm -hmm. Now, with GATT, it's a free market. They want to open up the market. So mm -hmm. they, they let it, oh, we'll let this co come into our country. Mm -hmm. And what it does, it kills the American uh, uh, money value. Because yeah, we com compete uh, internationally uh, uh, in within our own market. Right, mm -hmm. exactly. Because then everybody flees, everybody loses jobs. It goes overseas, mm -hmm. and that's like one of the biggest problems we have, and that's what's killing our deficit. Okay, how did your ancestors came to the United States? Oh, 
Let's see, what I understand, my, uh, my grandfather used to tell me with a, with a hard Italiano accent, yes. he came over on a banana boat. Uh -huh. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> That's what he called it. It's a, he came over on a boat with a ton of people on it. Uh -huh. And he was crammed into a little area where he slept and did just about everything. Mm -hmm. This one little area, tons of people, a lot of people getting sick. It was tough. It was hard to come over. It, it was your grandfather. It was my grandfather. So, do you remember him? Did you see sure. him? Sure. Yeah, he talked to me about it. He came in on Ellis Island in New York, mm -hmm. in New York City. So he he spoke English fluently. So uh, you could communicate with him. When he came here, he uh, very very little English when mm -hmm. he came here, and that's what was tough because when when they came in off of Ellis Island. Uh, the first thing that they did was make sure you know you had no diseases or whatever. Yes. And then you then they said that you had to learn English, mm -hmm. so that he had to learn English to get get it anywhere. It's not like today where oh if you don't know English and you're Spanish, you Spanish, everything is written in Spanish for you here. Mm -hmm. No, it, it was very tough back then. Okay. Uh, then um, another automobile related questions. Uh, <laughs> question. Like that uh, so which motors? do you like and um, what's your relation to uh, Japanese and German uh, auto industry so what what do you think about it what, okay how do you Japanese and that? German industry let's go through that one first first of all I used to work for Porsche Audi Volkswagen uh -huh. and I worked on Mercedes too I used to have a Mercedes uh -huh. first of all I think Mercedes lost a lot of money a few years back. They've been losing money because they made their cars too technical. Mm -hmm. Half the stuff on there is just over technical because they don't want anybody else to know their technology. So they make it so difficult so nobody can fix it. Even their own mechanics can't even have the time mm -hmm. to fix mm -hmm. it. Just over technical. Um, compared to the Japanese cars, Japanese cars are very very good reliable, Re reliable cars mm -hmm. they're not over technical they're very easy to work on because you only use a few tools just for instance technological yeah they're very mm -hmm. they're smart they're smart they built the car so a mechanic could fix it so it doesn't cost you a ton of money mm -hmm. it's very logical the way the car is built so what motors do you like what motors do i like motors well, let's see, I'm gearhead for U.S. cars. I love race cars. I usually build American hot rods. I like the uh, Chevrolet uh, 454 big block Chevrolet. Uh, we built it into massive amounts of horsepower. You get easy, well, not easy, but you could build it, uh, it into a four, uh, 572 and you could have easy uh, 1,000 horsepower. Okay, what is uh, what is freedom to an American? You you mentioned that we have lots of freedoms here before, but what what is freedom? Freedom is is able to dream and dream about what you want to do in life and succeeding at your dreams. Mm -hmm. You're able to 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 get to where you want to be in life if you if you so desire. Uh, like my dream one. When I was a little kid, even though I grew up with a disability, because I'm dyslexic, and uh, I had a hard time reading and learning uh, spelling properly, mm -hmm. uh, I always dreamt to be a race car driver and have my own auto shop. Mm -hmm. And everybody told me, oh, you can't do that, you can't do that. But I was, I was determined enough, I worked hard at it, and sure enough, I went to work for General Motors. I passed all their tests with flying colors. Mm -hmm. And after that, I got out and it became uh, an A mechanic working at their dealerships. Mm -hmm. And then from there, I worked for Porsche Audi Volkswagen. I learned all their technology. And after that, I opened up my own shop. So and you I lived was, your dream. Yeah, I lived my dream. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, um, what is the difference between a uh, Russian woman and um, American woman <laughs> in, in, a, in a family life? And now we can hear it. Uh, so you, you had one on this side and another one on, on that side. So, um, so what, what's the difference? Not, not the difference between specific woman, one specific woman yeah, and another specific, specific woman, woman, but, but uh, at the cultural general? level. Well, I think uh, Russian women are more 
I don't know, more like what American women used to be before the women's liberation uh, yeah, in this country. I think the, the, the women were... Your mom was like that. Yes, where the woman actually uh, was a woman instead Herself. of trying to be a man. I think the women want to be men nowadays in this country. Mm -hmm. uh, they dress up, they take care of themselves, they take care of their husband when they come home, mm -hmm. they, they uh, cook dinner for That's them. This is the Russians, right? Yeah, this is, this is what Russians do. Mm -hmm. Uh, the, what women used to do in this country years ago, but stopped doing it after the women's revolution, so to speak. Mm -hmm. But uh, I like the I like the Russian women because a lot better because of their women. They dress up, they keep themselves nice, they, they want to look good, uh, very loving, mm -hmm. and uh, they want to keep themselves looking good for the man. And they they do a lot of stuff for the men. I like that. Okay, if it's the time of birth, okay. You would be given the choice of any country in the world where you want to live. No okay. doubt, the USA. No <laughs> doubt. No doubt no, in no, my not, mind. Not Russia, Rubens? No doubt in my mind. Not even Italian. No. no. Why? Because the opportunities you have here is awesome. Okay. I love this country. How do you know in Italy maybe you'll have a problem? It's, not, it's um, not. Another question. Let me ask the question number 15. Uh, because I know. Uh, Lots of people ask that question again and again and again, day after day, you know. They have a belief in, in Russia that, I mean, they are given that uh, to believe, that in the United States, uh, mass media is um, running, you know, the campaign of propaganda, you know, in, which um, describes Russia and Russians in derogative terms, in kind of, I mean, anti-Russian, let's call it that way. Did you notice any, anything like that? I mean, None at all. Um, what about the time of Cold War? Well, Cold War, we, well, let's say, when I grew up uh -huh. in the Cold War as a child, yes. um, we were always in school practicing if we got hit by the A-bomb by Russia, uh -huh. what to do. And what we had to do is go underneath our desk and cover up, uh -huh. and the sirens would go off, and. We were very scared that there would be a nuclear war with mm -hmm. Russia. That's what we always thought. We always thought that uh, Russia was any second going to attack the United States. Mm -hmm. That's when we were growing up. That's what. That's how it was for me. Okay, but in today's world. In today's world, but well, no, it's still totally different. The Cold War. Well, hopefully it's not coming back. But the Cold War is over, and uh, people love like the uh, Russians. They always very kind to them here. But the media, uh, I mean, let's say if you watch TV or if you open a uh, newspaper or if you go online and... Uh, because I, I browse like 15, 20 uh, sources on everyday basis and uh, so they are saying it's full of propaganda and sometimes they watch American movies uh, which make fun of Russians sometimes and kind of... Um, um, so, Russians bad guys in the movie. Yeah, okay. yeah. A lot of times they port portray Russians as bad guys in the movies, but uh, as of in uh, on the radio or on TV, uh -huh. they 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 actually a lot of Americans feel sorry for the Russians, especially now what's going on with the war. That I don't that they don't think that the Russian people are actually being told what's going on the proper way. So, uh, let's say, as an American, you, you don't know about uh, propaganda, anti-American propaganda in Russia. In Russia? Yeah. Anti-American propaganda over there. Because they, they're yeah. saying, yes, we do have anti-American propaganda, but that is what media does all over the world. So, it, it does it here in Russia, and it does the same thing in the United States. I do not hear any, any of that on the news. Mm -hmm. Never. I never hear the news saying that Russians are bad and... Uh, uh, all this, they think they don't like what's going on with the with the war over there mm -hmm. because they feel that uh, maybe uh, that was a free state and why is uh, uh, Putin attacking a free state? We don't understand that mm -hmm. and killing innocent people for what? Maybe just to take over that that property? I don't know, mm -hmm. but that's the only thing that people don't understand with that. Okay. But there is no anti-Russian propaganda per se. No. Not really. Uh, did we have any, let's say, anti-Iranian propaganda, anti-Muslim propaganda, um, any propaganda at all? Actually, any manipulation 
of uh, people's consciousness. No, I mean, the, actually, this country is trying to uh, keep because with the wars with uh, with Muslims and all this ISIS going on yes. and this radical Muslims. Actually, we're trying to keep good relations mm -hmm. with the Muslims, saying that you know this is not all Muslims are like this. Muslims are good, uh, peaceful people. Mm -hmm. It's just this radicalization mm -hmm. of the Muslims. What's going on with with it right now? They're just bad people. Mm -hmm. They're just crazy people. The the radical ones. Mm -hmm. So we don't. Uh, there's nothing saying though know, that uh, we tr actually uh, not at all propaganda against Muslims. Okay, Natasha, maybe you you have a chance. Okay, last well, chance to ask a question. Just think about what what your uh, viewers are asking a lot. Any, anything? Well, a lot of people ask me how many Russian words you know, and I would like to oh. you demonstrate a little bit, a good, a good oh. little bit. Oh. What do you know? Well, well listen, I'm gonna help you. I'm gonna say uh. word in English, and you're gonna tell me in Russian. Okay? Uh. Let's say well, how to say bridge. Uh, most. Okay. How to say a beach. Blush. Okay. How to say I love you. Yet a very blue. How to say I miss you. Uh, Skunjai. Okay. How to say baby. Oh, Malishka. Okay. <laughs> so we, 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 we develop certain vocabulary okay. over time. Yes. How you say mm, a boy. Tavichka? No, this That's is girl. This is girl. Uh, I forget. Magic. Magic, yeah. Yes. Yeah. How to say young? Uh, oh, wait a second. Uh, no way. No, no, no that's way. new. No. That's new. Uh, young. Maladoy. 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 Yeah. Okay. okay. So, so, guys, we, so we, we, demonstrated, like we demonstrated certain <laughs> uh, successes and, you know. In uh, learning, uh, in uh, he, know, he, know, he knows much more, but you know, he knows a little bit. Чуть-чуть. Ну что, друзья, я, конечно, начинаю сомневаться, что вот весь этот разговор будет понятен большому количеству людей, потому что все-таки я не уверен, что у нас там абсолютно все так здорово по-английски говорят. Но, может быть, они помогут друг другу. Да, я думаю, что те, кто, те, кто в состоянии, пусть такой как бы скрипт, да? А делают, делают это люди. Да, да, да делают, я видел на канале, пусть напишут скрипт, вот, а я его там помещу, может быть, как-то как более удобное место, если, если вы хотите. Да, мы, мы будем очень благодарны. Мы по поблагодарим, а, значит, Винни и Наташу, они сегодня замотались, тут с утра рано приехали. Мы очень хорошо время провели. И время хорошо провели, и, хорошо. И, и по рюмочке пропустили, и, ребята, я хочу сказать, вот, я не знаю, вы цените там или нет, и понимаете это или нет, но мы сегодня весь день валяли дурака, очень старались вас развеселить, чтобы вы в хорошем настроении находились и чтобы вам было прикольно и как бы вот мы очень очень, очень старались, я правда говорю, Наташа? Правда. Вот, и Винни, он тоже как бы видит со стороны, что мы так стараемся и мы уже совсем настолько замотались и забыли об, об, об этих вопросах, которые да. были там на канале. И вдруг... Кстати, Винни нам, нам напомнил, говорит, да. а я не то, что вопрос Вики Да, и он говорит, ребята, так давай там же люди ждут, он говорит, что же мы, давайте уже запишем. И мы давай там эти вопросы выбираем. Да, и вот мы их тут под одеяло загнали. Вы, наверное, сейчас не видите одеяло, я вам покажу, вот они тут под одеялком вот сидят в кресле там, откинулись. Ну, он сидел уже здесь, отдыхал. Да, он уже отдыхал, отдыхал, в общем, замотался. Поэтому, ребята, в общем, всем привет. И э, я, я свою серию завершаю э, этим. Ну, а у меня он... тоже там вот серия, я снимаю все эти дни. Да. Но когда у меня Винни уедет, я обязательно выставлю, у меня будет 3-4 больших таких... Хороших видео. Сюжет. Из, из моих Сюжет. там может что-нибудь подмонтируешь тоже. Конечно. Вот. Я думаю, что я сделаю на свой канал тоже встречу, где я встретила Винни. Да. Пусть будет вам. Мы очень старались вас, можно сказать, позабавить. И так, как бы, чтобы, вам, чтобы вы не скучали с нами. Ну и мы хотим... We want to say thank you very much to Michael and Svetlana for making our day so nice. No, it was excellent. Yeah, it was very nice. Very good. They are so excellent people. Okay, guys, say bye to our... Bye. Bye. Viewers. До свидания всем. Goodbye.